Oh shit, they got a Goliath. Back that ass up. The Jacobs installation. Welcome back everybody to Let's Play StarCraft. Arcturus's boy sprung me from the prison ship. Apparently they're as frustrated with the Confederates as we are. I know their reputation. They seem to be on the level. I think Arcturus wanted to speak with you. Commander, Mar Sarah is almost completely overrun by the Zerg. The Confederates are abandoning the planet. And so are we. However, there is one thing. Colony's Confederate outpost and retrieve whatever design or weapon schematics that you can find in their networks. With the chaos of the Confederate's evacuation, you shouldn't have any trouble getting in or out of their installation. I'm into it. I guess I'm into it too. Fucking frame rate on that shit. It's like we got AOL or something. Anyways, this is a non-base building mission. This is a, uh, as I refer to them in Warcraft 3, a dungeon mission. So, uh, don't get too excited, kids. <laughs> oh, I never explained what stim packs do, did I? Um. Wow, that guy got pelted by missiles. Wall traps will open up eventually, every once in a while, and there's like traps all over the place in this place. But anyways, stim packs. It doesn't explain it in the tooltip because it's StarCraft, but um... What happens is when you use it, all your marines take a small amount of damage, but get a ridiculous boost to attack speed. It's uh... It's one of those kind of risk-reward situations. You really gotta think about it before you use it, or else you're gonna kill yourself, so... Think before you do it. Kill these civilians or whatever they are, yeah. God, you guys suck or something. I don't know what the heck to do with you guys. Just burn them to the ground. So these are the Confederates. Confederates are bad people in this world. Um, we're with the Sons of Korhal. They're like rebels. They're outlaws. They kind of want to just focus on doing their own thing. But uh, as to what that own thing is, maybe we'll figure it out as we go through this game. Maybe not. Maybe I'm an asshole. Ugh. These in-base missions. They, there's things that are great about them. There's things that really suck about them. Let's figure out what this is. What the hell? Yeah, just kill that guy first. <laughs> just because he said something. Ooh, Marine. Uh, we got a computer. Let's figure it out. Ooh. Nice. So we got three computers over here. Three other computers. Maybe we need to get two to do something. Let's go back through the teleporter. Alright. Wonder where this hallway leads. We're all spread out. What the hell, guys? <laughs> That's not how we do this at all. It's not recommended. Let's bunch up again. Move as a single unit. Always move with A, actually, when you're going through places like this. Especially when we're doing a big conga line. Because when those traps appear, you really want to get the jump on them. And if you don't notice them, your marines won't until they're already hit. Kill these guys. Bunch of no good yokels. Is there anything worthwhile over here? Let's go up here. Dude, can you guys not figure out where the stairs are or something? Goodness gracious. I get the feeling there's going to be traps in here. 
It's two. Yeah, up there, you know. If the unit responses get annoying, let me know. Well, <laughs> I'll probably have this fully done and recorded by the time you guys see it, but... If the unit responses get annoying at some point, then I'll turn them off. Yeah, it does sound fun. So where the hell are we going? Oh shit, they got a Goliath. Back that ass up. Fuck it. Kill that Goliath as fast as we can, okay. Goliath online. They are not fun. Dirty little bitches. Okay, so that's where that would have led. We would have been face to face with that Goliath. So back up here we go. About to get to this computer room. And figure out what that's gonna do for us. Oh, and this one. This should be good. Oh yeah. Sounds fun. Right on. Sounds fun. Right on. Oh, frame rate. Oh yeah. Automatic defense system activated. What? Alright, StarCraft, relax. It's not that intense. My GPU can't handle it. Hold on. Real quick. Okay, we're back. I guess Fraps does not like StarCraft at all. It's just, it's not having it. It throws a big temper tantrum for certain things that it does. Fire bats, which are great for us because we can deal with them easily. Door is locked. Cell doors open. Oh, there's zerglings in there. Probably should have not came in here. So Mr. Uh, Minsk here is uh, more concerned with the fact that we need to deal with the Confederates rather than the fact that they have Zerg in holding cells that they maybe, maybe not use for certain things. But why would the Confederates have Zerg? You know, why would they be, uh, why would they have them in cells and stuff like that? Have they known about the Zerg for a long time? These aliens that have just recently appeared in this world? Maybe, maybe not. Anticipating floor traps like every five seconds. We're gonna hit another teleporter. So it looks like we're going way off the map. Is this like a garage? A garage? Sorry. Whoa! So we discovered, I think, what is another teleporter. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. All the way to sector one. Unauthorized entry detected. Don't even do anything. Shit. I knew there was going to be floor traps behind us. 
It's awful. Sounds fun. Oh yeah. Sounds fun. Right on. We're in pretty bad shape. Oh yeah. Sounds fun. As long as we stay cautious, we should get through this. I don't think there's anything too threatening in here. Oh, there's a ghost in here, but fuck. Oh, he's dead. All right, just oh shit. Grab the data disk. There we go. The data disk. Victory! Oh, the wonders of what coffee can do. Anyway. In the wake of the chaos resulting from the Zerg invasion, the Sons of Quarrel escaped with the stolen data disk. Fleeing to the border colony of Antigua Prime, Octurus's group now plans its next crucial moves against the Confederacy. Thirteen hours after the evacuation of Marsar, Protoss warships took up orbit around the colony and unleashed a massive planetary bombardment. All life on the surface was extinguished. Oh, Protoss. You crazy sons of bitches. What the fuck? Oh. Hey, Matt. Headquarters has begun analysis of the disks. They expect to have them decoded shortly. I hope whatever's on those disks is worth it. Receiving incoming transmission from Arcturus Minsk. You and Captain Reyna have done well, Commander. I believe our efforts have weakened the Confederacy's grip on the fringe worlds. But our job out here isn't done yet. Lieutenant Kerrigan, my second in command, will elaborate. I'll get straight to the point. Our sources tell us that Antigua Prime is ready to begin open revolt against the Confederacy. Unfortunately, the Confederates seem to be aware of this as well. They've stationed a large detachment of Alpha Squadron troops there under the command of General Duke. It will be your job, Commander, to free this colony and show our good intent to the Antiguan people. Lieutenant Kerrigan will help you deal with Duke's officers. The rest of the Confederates are yours to deal with. Here we go, that AOL dial-up Skype call. Jesus Christ. Quit it. Anytime you're ready. Oh, yeah. oh boy. So, what the fuck are we supposed to do in this mission? <laughs> I don't even know. This is a, I don't remember this mission very well. Oh, here's Kerrigan. Captain Raynor, I finished scouting out the area and... You pig! What? I haven't even said anything to you yet. Yeah, but you were thinking it. Oh, yeah. You're a telepath. Look, let's just get on with this, okay? Right. Yeah, he, yeah, she read his mind. He was thinking dirty things. Anyways, Kerrigan is a, the, as you can see, Jim Rayner's a vulture because he sucks. And Kerrigan is a ghost. She has cloak and lockdown, which, again, aren't explained at all in their tooltips. So I'll do my best to try to remember something. As you can tell by the detector text, when a building is a detector, that means it can see cloaked units. So beware of those missile turrets when you got Kerrigan with you. I gotcha. But Cloak works really interesting in this game, or has a really interesting way of working in this game. Oh, just shoot him! Don't all go up against him one at a time. I gotcha. I read you. We get people killed around here. Okay, so this is the base I need to like blow up. I need to get Kerrigan there. So it's not really a base destroying mission, it's just a deal with this threat, or get, it's like, I don't know, it's almost like a tutorial to a stealth, or in how it works in this game. Kerrigan to use your cloaking ability to sneak by most enemy forces, only detectors such as missile turrets can be used to spot cloaked units. So there's your little tip, little tip of the iceberg, top of the morning to ya. Okay, so this is a pretty basic tutorial on cloaking. So let's take out this uh, bunker here. And as you can see, they're focusing on Kerrigan because she's a ghost, so she's the biggest threat. 
Oh, and they had a fire bat in there, so they were idiots in the first place. And so we're going to use Kerrigan's cloak ability, which she goes kind of transparent for us. But to anyone else, if you're fight, if you're up against cloak units, you can't see them at all. So it's uh, pretty interesting. Oh, I remember this mission now. And there we go. It's going to take some massive repairs to fix this place up, but we'll do it. Um, Alright, so we got bunkers with tons of people. So this is a base building and base destroying mission, which is uh, which sucks. And because I know for a fact, damn it, I know that we are up against. Um, all right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had a little. Uh, I uh, had a slight interruption, phone call, that to answer. Um, Alright, let's start getting some minerals. We got a ass load of minerals up here. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, there's two factory- Oh! Oh! Woo! Starport, it's like the best thing ever. We got wraiths now. Wraiths are pretty awesome. They're flying units that can attack both land and air. They're stronger against air than they are against land. And they have a cloaking field that they can research if you get the add-on for the control tower. Uh, so yeah, wraiths are pretty awesome. They're not my, uh, once I have them, it's the only thing I build though. They're not that kind of awesome. Um, so I'm not sure what I should focus on here. Or actually, uh, build an engineering bay first. Build it out of the way so it doesn't get destroyed or anything. A polar reactor gets us more wraith abilities. Ooh, I'll research their cloak because it's going to be pretty useful when the time comes when we need it. Um, now. Mm. Not enough minerals. Sorry, I was digging something out of my teeth. It's gross if you can hear that. Um, yeah. Uh What was I gonna say? You want a piece of me, boy? Other than the fact that I need a toothpick, but um Yeah, son. Uh this mission, this mission shouldn't be too bit too difficult. Uh, don't know how I'm gonna get all my units over there to the enemy base. I might be able to do it with just wraiths, but not the smartest idea because um, they will have these fun little things at their disposal as well on this base that we're gonna destroy. I was gonna say, I'm filling these bunkers with just um, marines because we're up against Terran in this mission, not against the Zerg. So they don't have they don't have small units that they can send in large waves at us. And uh, because of that, I'm more uh, oh drop ships. That's why that's how they expect you to get all your shit over there. How much minerals does that take? Holy shit! Well, um. Yeah, so race I think are your best bet for initially putting a dent in their defenses and then you could probably send in your forces later if you don't think that you have enough to uh, 
push through and destroy the whole base. But it's really up to you. They're over here, down in the southern area, down here across this river. So, uh, yeah. We'll probably see something pretty soon with them. That's what you get for sending a wraith in my base. I'm gonna blow it up. I think I've done this mission with just wraiths before, though. I think that we're still early enough on in the kind of in the story that they don't suspect you to have too much uh, going on, or they don't expect you to be like a master StarCraft player, so they aren't going to throw too much in the way of defense at you. Uh, definitely get oh. Well, once our investment gas gets up there, we'll get that so that our base has even better defense because we'll have even longer range to shoot people with. And then we'll get the other two once we get the right amount of Vespine gas for those. So there we go. Infantry weapons and infantry armor are up next. So we can do a little bit of scouting with our wraiths if we want to. Um, we'll just go down here. Best thing about cloak in this game, as opposed to a like the shadow meld that you'd see in um, Warcraft 3, is that um, when you attack, you don't become unstealthed, so you can stay cloaked and attack the shit out of something, and they can't do anything about it. Like right over here, we can slowly chip away at this refinery if we wanted to and make it so that they don't have any, you know, they won't have any Vespine gas anymore if we destroy it. But I'd rather decloak and. Oh, that was not a smart idea. Goliaths are anti air, by the way. Don't get, uh, don't get crazy. <laughs> and even chipping away at their SCVs does goes a long way in terms of uh, destroying a base. Oh, and our cloak ran out, so we're out of there. So as you can see, uh, it does some wonders sometimes. And the amount of damage that a full army of wraiths can do is uh, it's just incredible. Mm, yeah, we'll get the Apollo reactors for our race. Why not? Just get them on the right track. I want a lot more Vespine gas than I do, though. So slow down on minerals and get more SCVs on Vespine gas. There we go. Seti stream. So I guess that's how we'll go about doing it. We'll just get an ass load of wraiths and kind of just go balls deep in them and see what happens. If it works out for the better, then cool. If it doesn't, then oh well. You know, as a matter of fact, just build some more SCVs. Up our resources on everything. And I forgot, I'll check right now if you can repair wraiths. Oh, you can. Cool. Oh, until that happens. Now we got a problem. Where are our slides? Oh, they're there. Okay. Go ahead, command. Right, so let's build some supply depots. Since they're bitching at us about it now. And in the way of defense, we're doing pretty good for ourselves. If you want to look at this from an esports perspective, then what I kind of traded there was uh, one wraith for a few of their SCVs and some of their resources, I guess. So now our wraiths have 250 energy at their disposal, allows them to stay stealth for longer than they would be. Wraiths take up two spots in our army, wow.
Uh, do we have four people on Vesping Gas? No, this guy was on Vesping Gas. That's right. So once he's done, we'll put him right back on there. Alright. Let's go balls deep with the wraiths. Oh, minerals is my problem. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, I got a hundred Vespin gas. What the heck's going on? Oh! I'm offended. At this level of a sneak attack. <laughs> You guys can be my group one. Be a and we're gonna have to put this out. Because we're gonna be losing health on that pretty soon. Um, grab one of these SCVs before he goes in there. Repair. There we go. Right, go back to your station, wherever you are. Grab that armor upgrade. Maybe I need to have another bunker up here. That's what it seems like. Because it seems like they could sneak attack me from that direction. That is not okay. It's going to be a long way for the Marines to travel, but oh well. Alright. So wraiths are going. That's good. Um, we're gonna have a total of eight once we have this. Our army limit is 12 in this game, which I think is the same as Warcraft 3. I'm not 100% sure. You guys will tell me if I'm wrong. Dude. I'm telling you to build a supply depot. I'll oh, build it up here. Got more space. I'd rather not block this off. So can we build four more wraiths? Not with the amount of resources we have. That ain't gonna happen. There's two more. And with the amount of uh, army space we have. Ain't gonna happen either. So you can see how an army of race would be pretty formidable up against something. Mm, build another one, just to be safe. Oh boy, we got something. What a joke. Alright, once we hit 300 minerals, we'll queue up those last two wraiths, and we'll go in there and see what kind of damage we can do with a full army of wraiths. You know, it wouldn't be a Wii Neo RTS Let's Play without me trying to win the whole mission with one unit. Or one type of unit. <laughs> I think, yeah, we're good on Vespin gas. This guy can grab minerals now. Okay. One of those upgrades is just now is complete. It's intense. Just for the sake of completion's sake, I'll build a machine shop. If you build a machine shop in an area where uh, you don't have enough room, your building will lift off and kind of just scoot over a little bit and it'll build it wherever you tell it to build it. Take a sip of the coffee. <sighs> Alright. I don't know why I'm building this machine shop. I guess for an upgrade for Jim Rayner. If that counts for anything. It doesn't really. Yeah, for the faster movement, but we don't really need it. 
We don't need vultures, that's for sure. Because we're going to try to do this with just wraiths. We're going to see how that works out. Probably terribly, but, you know. Who's dare, who dares wins, is what I say. We'll build a commsat station, too. Drop ships. We don't really need drop ships. Especially the one reason why I don't want to build a drop ship is I just don't want to get kind of Kerrigan and uh, Jim Rayner in danger by putting them over there at the base because you never know what could happen. And if either of them dies, then it's mission over. So let's see what else they got down here. That's it. <laughs> Some mines and Goliaths are your defense. I hope that's not the whole base. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's not, but... From a first perspective, that is not a very impressive base. Oh, full army of wraiths. Ready to go. We'll control two of them. Alright. Let's go, boys. Attack, formation. Attack formations, right. We're just flying in like a bunch of madmen. Woo! Say, so don't even need that cloak. Don't ask me why I'm destroying this refinery, it's really unnecessary, but... Kill these Goliaths that they're building. Destroy their dropships. Focus Goliaths whenever they're out here because those are really your biggest threats. Because they're going to be anti-air all over you. Let's uncloak or... Never mind. It gets all confused when you have one that isn't cloaked and the rest are starts to think that, okay, well, maybe I should just, you know... Yes, lead me to your other command center. Quickly destroy these missile turrets, then focus on the biggest threat. We're about to lose our cloaking anyway, so might as well not even bother with trying to keep up with it. See what I mean by they don't do a whole lot of damage to land units, but to an air unit they demolish them. this factory. I think it works like Warcraft 3, you kind of just have to destroy their unit producing buildings and it counts a base as destroyed. Or it might be more lenient, it might be just the command center and then that's considered destroyed. But I wouldn't know. At least I wouldn't know 100%. Kill any units that they try to build to get rid of you and then refocus your priorities. It's the best you can do.
Alright, so I guess it's not just the command center, you do gotta get rid of all the unit producing buildings. Or is it in Warcraft 3, is it any building that can do damage to you? That might be it. Whoa! <laughs> that was awful. Please tell me I don't destroy all this shit. Well, I'll build a drop ship for these chuckle bunkers. I'll drop them off over here. Just stay here, hold position. Just destroy these if you want. Do what you want to do. It's your thing. Do what you wanna do now. Can I take your order? Alrighty, let's get all of our butts on this thing. Destination. Destination. Don't go flying through here with all these missile turrets either. It's the dumbest thing you could possibly do. <laughs> you unload them one at a time, god damn it. Forgot about that. Alright. Get out of here, SCV. Unknown dangers. Always lurking. Jesus Christ, Jim Rayner. Dude, the hot rod's fucking around like he ain't no one's business. Oh my god, they got spider mines! We're too fast for our own good. Get out of there. You ding dongs. Are we. <laughs> Is this base destroyed yet? Join up with our Wraith friends. Woo! See how close that was? Those are spider mines. Those things are quicker than shit. Especially with the game on this high of speed, but, you know. It's what vultures can lay down. I think it's super useless, but I don't know. Some people might argue differently. So you literally gotta destroy every damn thing they got. Decimate them. Sip of the coffee. Is that it? Do we win? Oh! Oh! They rebuilt this command center! Look and they fucked me up! Holy shit! It was a trap! And I fell right into it. <laughs> All my marines got spider mined and then Kerrigan got spider mined. If that had killed her, oh my god, I would have butt clenched so hard, I could have made diamonds. Awful is what that would have been. Alright, you dingle dangles, are we done now? Don't tell me they rebuilt this shit. Oh, come on! No, whatever you're building, stop it. Look, their base isn't destroyed because they have a fucking refinery up. What are they gonna do with that? Ugh. Finally! Good gravy. Anywho. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Let's play StarCraft. Holy shit. Ugh.
I'll see you guys next time. The only reason why mission took so long is because I got the damn phone call in the middle of it. But anyways, see you next time. We knew. Bye-bye.